Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP, I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you another episode of my Ultra Hardcore series, attempt number two, episode, uh, episode, shit, damn it, hang on, motherfuck, I just, huh, uh, 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 16, that's the one. Yes. Episode 16 of my Ultra Hardcore series. Woo! Uh, today we are going to start getting set up for some adventuring. And uh, by set up for some adventuring, I mean there's no actual adventuring in this episode. None. Absolutely none. Well, we are going to adventure a little bit, actually. I gotta go find Wither Skeletons. I think it's getting close to time to go fight the Wither. Um, I got this awesome armor that I've made from doing Thomcraft stuff, Thomcraft research that we did in the last few episodes. I've got a nice healing spell. Um, actually, I should make a better healing spell. I wonder if I can yet. I know I've been gaining levels. Uh, what do we got for Healy Healy? Healy Healy Healy! Talents! Oh, what's this? Affinity Gains Boost. No, not that. Mana Regen. Yeah, we're good there. Um, utility. That's not it. Is it Defense? Self known. Regeneration and heal. That's the one I got there. Leap is not learned. Life tap. Oh, this is the extra healing one. This is, oh, I need a red point for that, I guess. Because it's in red numbers, and that's green numbers, so I need green points for those. I've got three blue points. So I could make some better... Better, um... I'll work on doing this at some point. I don't know how you get red points. I think you would have got to fight the bosses. Maybe we'll summon the water boss. That'll be part of the preparation for this, to make a better healing spell for fighting the wither. Um, so that'll be next episode, I think. We'll do a, a better Ars Magica healing spell next, next episode. But we need to make, um, a modular force field. I was looking at force field stuff, because I'm going to make a force field battle arena. Because that's my favorite way to fight the wither. Um, but we need to make mine, fact, there we go. I'm going to go find a wither, because we're going to make a wither, a wither skeleton spawner and auto killer, so we can get some skeleton skulls. So we have a way to actually spawn him when this time comes to spawn him. Maybe I can get away with getting all this in one episode. So I'm going to make one of these safari nets, which is just some uh, pearls and a gas here, which I have in spades. Uh, gas. There's a gas here. And uh, there we go. Pearls right there. Three, four. And I can just get over here and we can hit recipe. Recipe! Okay, so we got a safari net. And... Do I want to capture anything else while I'm in there? I don't think so. I think I might have caught something at one point, did I? Was that this? Was that this? But Jesus, I waste resources. My fucking god. What is all this? I haven't been on this this, this game in like a week, guys. Like, I, I record several episodes at a time, and then I release them slowly over time. So, I did. I caught a blaze. Alright, cool. So I'll take this launcher. So I got a blaze for use for later stuff. I got some oh, pork chops. Lamb chops when I run out of steak, which is not going to be too long from now. So let's go catch a wither, Skeleton. So we are going to, we are in OP bat mode, and, uh, well, how are you doing? Oh, he's down here. He's about half done. Cool. Uh, we're going to go catch a wither skeleton, and I got to go find a fortress, because I'm not really sure where one is. Hey, what's up, Pigman? And, uh, we will be back as soon as I find a fortress. There we go. I remember there was a fortress around here nearby, and I remember finding a wither around here, so that's good. Um, I got a cobalt ore, just because it was there. So I'm going to catch this wither right there. Uh, but first, I'm going to get rid of this guy, so hopefully I can just sort of pick him off. Oh, shit. I'm a terrible shot. Uh. Yes? Oh, please die. There we go. That's what I want to see. Did he drop a blaze rod? No. Of course he didn't drop no fucking blaze rod. That shits. Alright. Come here. We're in capture mode. Dink! Nice. And that, my friends, is how you acquire a skeleton. 
I think actually I don't have to acquire specifically a wither skeleton. You don't have to come in here into the nether and find a wither skeleton because the way that the mob dictionary works, I guess there's an entity dictionary as well as an ore dictionary. And uh, the ore dictionary, of course, says copper is copper uh, as long as they're flagged, as, as long as everything's flagged as copper. Oh, there's a spawner over there. Whew. Um, as long as everything's flagged as copper, everything's copper, iron is all iron, uh, that kind of thing. But I know that there's also an entity dictionary that tells what entities are what. And the skeletons, I guess, are the exact same entity. And the only difference is in the background of the game, uh, during all the coding processing when everything's running, it tells the game which version of the skeleton to spawn. And the versions of the skeleton are the archer skeleton that you see just regular, like at nighttime and in dungeons, and the other version is the wither skeleton in the nether. And I don't think you have to go and catch that one. No, you do have to go catch that one, because you have to tell the spawner to spawn the exact same version as you caught. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. For a second I thought maybe you can catch a regular skeleton, and then tell it to spawn not exact copy and wait for a regular one, but I don't know if you can catch a, uh, a um, spawned version. What's your deal? Why are you not chopping? Oh, he's chopping. I also don't know why. Now that I think about this, I don't know why I put uh, import buses on these chests when I could just have them dumped directly into a uh, interface. That was kind of weird. How's it going, buddy? He's like, I'm just chilling, waiting to plant something. Sweet. He's doing a good job. So, we are going to work on... Maybe I should put a plate there, because I'm used to just stepping on plates. Um, now that we have the wither skeleton, and I'm going to put this gas tier and this cobalt away... I don't know where to store that cobalt. It's probably going to end up up here. Yeah, there it is right there. I'll put it in my metals chest. Right here. Wow, that's a lot of seeds. Why is there so many seeds in here? Blaze seeds. Damn. I guess these are just in preparation for the skeleton guy to use out there. Weird, I don't know. Um, anyway, so we are going to make an auto spawner and a uh, mob grinder. And the way we're going to do this is we actually need to get a mob essence farm going as well. And that's why I caught the blaze before. Now I remember. I ah, always thinking. Blazes. Okay, so here's the, here's the way that this works out. Um, you have to get mob essence to spawn a monster. In order to get mob essence, you have to grind a mob. In order to grind a mob, you have to spawn a mob, and thus it th makes the cycle repeat. So we have to start with at least a little bit of essence. Um, the thing is, is that blazes we have found through... Uh, and by we, I mean my friend and server admin, Xavier McMage. We have found... That blazes, at least in this current version of this pack, which is getting a little old at this point, I think. It's, it's, it's for 164 still, but I don't know if we have the most up-to-date MFR version. But right now, with the version we have, uh, the blazes, if you tell it to spawn not exact copy, uses less than, like, because it spawns one and you get more from grinding them. So we're going to make... Um, I wonder if I need a mob grinder, actually. We could just make a wall of swords with the, uh... Because I have... Are these all terrain smashers or some of them autonomous? Nope, they're all terrain smashers, so never mind that. Um... Blazes kind of fly, though, which kind of presents a problem. So maybe I'll do a wall of swords. Hmm... I don't know, let me take some minutes to sleep this night and uh, decide what I want to do exactly. I'll be back, guys. So I have started outlining the uh, room that I want. I came out right out behind my Thawncraft room here. Decided I didn't want... It all the way attached to the base. I don't know why. I guess I could have. It wouldn't really matter. But I decided to go ahead and put it out back here. Um, I'm going to have the main room right here. This is just going to be where I can stand and do things if I need to. And then, over, like this, like I divide, divided this room in half. It's the same size as the rooms in the main base, but I divided it in half down the center pretty evenly. Not exactly evenly, because uh, these spawners, I'm going to put the spawners right here where these bricks are, right in the center here, and right in the center here. And what I'm going to do is these pretty much are sp safe if you give them a 9x9 nine nine space. So it's a 9x9 nine nine inside, it's 9 across here, and then 9 across here, and then uh, it's 4 high like my main base is. Uh, 4 high inside, 6 high total, floor and ceiling counted. And then this outside here is where I'm going to be able to like set up machines or crafting tables or whatever I need to do in here. Um, in order to process everything. And then what I'm going to do is the auto spawner will go there, and then I'm going to have uh, probably a mob grinder right here. Well, actually, I'm going to put the mob grinders in the center. That's what I'll do. I'll put the mob grinders in the center so one can face this way and then one can face this way. And I'll have probably some uh, fans, I'm thinking, from um, 
from uh, open blocks. I think it's from open blocks, and they'll be along this ledge here, and they'll push things that way into the mob grinders. That's kind of what I'm tentatively thinking for setup here. The only issue that I'm going to have with this is where exactly I want to put the grinders. Obviously on this row, but one's going to have to face in and one's going to have to face this way, so they're not going to be exactly dead center. So I might have to set them up like, uh, I don't know, something like this. Like, instead of having one directly in the center, I'll have, like, one here for this guy and then one here for this guy. Because they can reach out a couple blocks anyway. And then I'll reverse it on the other side. There'll be, like, one here for this guy and one here for this guy. So they'll be sitting in the same space and sort of uh, staggered, I think. That kind of looks good to me. I think I'll go with that for like a temporary plan, or a tentative plan anyway. And then I think in a minute here we're going to go activate our division sigil. I think I'm finally ready with this armor. I want to put uh, ethereal glass in the front so I can walk through and get in here if I need to without having to have a door. But I also don't want them to be able to see me and get out. So we're going to go activate a division sigil. How's that for a plan, guys? Let me go get ready for that. Alright guys, so before we actually go and activate this division sigil, I want to get a silky jewel set up. Because I think to help our mob farm, we're going to want to use utilize some of that cursed earth, I think, in order to get a good mob setup going. Because it's really not going to need it running unless I'm standing here anyway. And that's a really good way to go with it. So we're going to harvest that cursed earth. We need a silky jewel to make a silk touch... Um, silk touch mining implement to pick that shit up. So we're going to need eight string around a... I think this is a gold nugget, and uh, that'll get us one of these guys, one of these silky things, and four of these around an emerald will get us a silky jewel. So it should tell us here, uh, I think that's a gold nugget, I'm pretty fucking sure it's a gold nugget. So let's get some string, do I have string in here? I have 12, I have, I have some string, I don't have a lot of string. Um, hmm. Oh, there's the string, I knew I had some string around here. So there's that string. And we are going to uh, see about this gold nugget business. Two, three, four. Wait, what did that say? Shit. Hang on. Was it four of them or was it... Yeah, it was four of them. Pretty sure it was four of them. Yeah, because it makes that. Okay. So let's try this. Is it... I think it's one of these. Yes. Nice. So let's do that. There we go. So we get four of those bad boys, and we pull out an emerald. Oh, shit! That was my basalt. Did that land in here? Yeah, that's right there. Cool. So and then we mix one of these, and we're going to craft this guy. You get four of these around this, and there we go. And as you see, I made an excavator. I made an, an alumite excavator because, well, I don't really need anything complicated. We're going to stick that right on there. We have a silk touch alumite excavator. Nice! This is what we're going to use to go ahead and mine up our... Because I'm not going to use my normal excavator because this guy isn't set up to be Silk Touch. I guess he could be. Uh, but I've used up all of his repair slots. Or all of his upgrade slots, I think. Did I use up all of his... Yeah, I used up all of his modifier slots. The only way I can put more on here is with a Wither Star. Because I think I put a diamond and a, and a, and a gold block on it already. But that's alright. Not a big deal. And I got everything ready for the activation ritual, so I'm gonna go find a nice spot way the fuck away from the base, and I'll be back. I think this looks like a good spot. Uh, we're out back of the volcano. We're, like, way away from the volcano. Base is on the other side of it up here. So that's how that's working out. And we're actually pretty close to this other volcano over here. We're still within range of my quarry, though, so I just kind of figured we'd hang out back here somewhere. But this is, like, a lot of nice, just flat dirt land, so I think we're going to do something out here. This looks like a perfect spot right actually in here. So I think we're going to go within here, and I'm going to hang out on top of these trees so that shit can't get me while nighttime happens. What happens is you place this down. All we got to do is place this guy down, like, right here. Okay, and uh, then we surrounded by redstone. Do -do 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 -do. I covered this pretty good in my build spotlight too when I actually went through and did the um, uh, reacting dynamo. But uh, basically, if you take your sigil in hand and you right click or you shift right click this, it tells you in the bottom left hand: alter as redstone circle. Cannot alter a circle not placed on dirt. And it can see the moon. What else did that say? Must not be lit by outside sources too early. Must be made at midnight. So this says. Not placed on dirt. This is dirt. What the fuck? So I guess Origin Valley dirt is different in Biomes of Plenty than normal dirt is. So actually this isn't going to work for us. So I gotta go look around some more. That's good to know. I never knew that before. So let me go, um... What are the biomes we got around here? I guess we're going to have to go up into the hills, maybe? That's the only other... Well, maybe... 
No, that's another biome. There's plenty of biome. We can't have specialized dirt. So I get... Oh, shit. I went down there some at some point. Oh, wait. No, this is a different map, I think. No, this... That's... Is this right? Yeah! Oh, this is where I was when I originally started playing the game, I think. Or no, wait. That was west, wasn't it? Shit, I don't remember, guys. No, it was east. Because I crossed these hills. Didn't I start... In Shit, I don't fucking remember. It's been too fucking long. Um, I'm gonna come up here. Let's go up here to this biome and see what this is all about. Hang on. Alright, it's getting pretty nighttime as I'm flying up here. We're just about there, though. So I think I'm just not gonna go ahead and bother with it even being daytime or not. So let's just pick this hilltop right here. This should be plenty. Oh, this should be more than good. Well, shit. There's a zombie down there already. Ha! <laughs> They already want to chew my nipples. Uh, yeah, let's just go with this. I'll just plant this right here, and we'll do our resin circle. There's a creeper right over there. He probably won't notice if I just kind of fly here and do this. And let's shift right... Now it says... Okay, so now now we got it. It says, now it's placed on dirt. Can see the moon. Sufficient natural earth. Altar is in darkness. It is too early, though. Has to be at midnight. So the moon is just rising. When the moon is straight overhead, that'll be when the time happens. And we have to kill something in order to do this. So I'm going to grab my gravity gun here. And I saw a sheep down here a second ago. Or actually, any of these monsters will work, too. So what I'm going to do really quick here is I'm going to take some of this basalt that I've got with me. And I'm going to do one of these. I'm just going to make, like, a little... Just like a little, uh, yeah, that'll work. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab any zombie. This zombie would work right here. Hey, what's up, zombie? So we're going to take this guy with your hatchet head, and we're going to just stick you right in here. And we're going to save him for when it's actually time to murder something. And in case that doesn't work, uh, sometimes animals will work better. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can grab a sh that sheep down there, too, just for, just for added added precaution and it doesn't have to be direct line of sight to the altar when you kill it I don't think so that sheep was over here where was that sheep I just saw him a second ago there's a spider I think he was was he down I think he was down here there's a skeleton there's a creeper nah I don't know what I don't know where the sheep went there's a cow, though. We'll take the cow. So in case the zombie doesn't work, we'll murder this cow. What's up, cow? This will be fine. This will be more than sufficient for our purposes. So I'm going to fly up here. We'll stick this cow right in here. And basically, I have to not die to all these monsters running around in the meantime. So I'm going to put my gravity gun away and my excavator away. And we'll get this excavator ready because that's our silk touch one. And I'm going to murderize this creeper. Because I don't want this creeper to be fucking with me while I'm doing stuff. Hey! Oh my god, I'm a terrible shot. Stop walking so I can shoot your ass. Ah! So much burnout, so much waste of mana. Ah, oh, whatever. There we go. Nuts to that. So now we just wait for midnight to happen. So I'm going to... Oh, we're almost there already because I've been fucking around with these, with these monsters. That's cool. That's a lot of monsters over there. This is going to be a terrible time probably. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get under here and I'm going to mine out these blocks underneath because I don't want... I want as much natural earth as possible. I don't know if it'll stay natural earth if it's underneath of those bricks. So as long as these are head height though, that'll keep, these will keep these monsters from running. Unless of course you're trying to sacrifice a chicken, which is one high, and then he'd get out of there. But we got a cow, so we're okay. We got the cow. Lots of beef. So we'll know that it's exactly time when this division signal starts glowing as if it was enchanted. So we're actually almost there. If we look straight up, see the moon's nearly ahead. And we will see this division signal. It will start glowing as if it was enchanted. It'll get like enchantment glow. So any second here, we'll see that. So all we gotta do... There we, there we go. So we right-click and it's... Perform the sacrifice. Hey, zombie, what's up? No? That didn't work? No, that didn't work either? Shit! Why didn't those work? That was perfect! Fuck! Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, God, I hate when this happens. Let's see if we can get another one up here in time. Hey, come here. Oh, I fucked up the circle trying to sh- Oh, Jesus. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, sour. Oh, my God, so angry. Where- Oh, fuck. Damn it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. 
It's still glowing though. Maybe we have a second. Maybe. Hey, die. God, what? Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it! Son of a bitch! Why didn't it work? That was perfect. These guys were all st stuck and shit. Ah, oh, damn it! Son of a bitch! Fuck! Ah, oh, da! So mad right now. Oh my god. I can't even- maybe it does need line of sight. Fuck me. God damn it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess now I have to wait a whole other night and day, so I'm gonna try to... Maybe it needed to be closer, too. That was a little bit back there. Maybe it needs to be right up in the face. I don't know. Let's put one right there next time, I think. We'll trap him right the hell next to it. And, um... Let me get ready here. Hey, zombie. You're a dickbag. You and all your kind are dickbags. Ritual too late. Oh, now it wants to do it. You fucker! Fuck you! Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Oh, I'm so mad right now. I can't even see straight. I'm so mad. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do, like, this kind of thing to trap uh, a zombie, because now we know zombies work for sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until next night, and I'm gonna trap a zombie right in here, and then I'll chop out this block before I kill him. That should hopefully do what we need to do. So, yeah, fuck you. So angry right now, I can't even believe that. Hey, Mitchell, too late, me, me. Fuck. Ah, I gotta go f wait another day, hang on. This takes for goddamn ever when you're just sitting here for a whole Minecraft day and don't know what you're fucking doing. Man, that takes forever. I'm gonna actually get rid of these completely, I think. Because I think they were just a hindrance before. And I'm just gonna let him dance around trying to get to me. He's like, eh, 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 your nipples off. Hey, what are you... Don't you wander off. You get your ass over here. So we should be just about good, I think. There we go. Yep. Oh, you fucker walked off! God! No! Damn it! Ah, Sh oh, shit! Well, there's another one. Let's grab this guy. Oh my god, I can't believe he just wandered off like that. Fuck. Come on. There we go! That's what I wanted to see. Fucking thank Christ. Oh, that's... That's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, God, those guys are fast at shooting. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Shit. This is a terrible time right here. I mean, I, I know that... Oh, fuck. Okay, let me just see if I can sneak in a couple of... Nope. Fuck. Take that off, though. Yeah. Okay, so this is just a terrible time, because we need to... We... Oh, you fucks. Okay, I'm just gonna fly around and try to land on it, and... Oh, there's some... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, this is brutal! Let's get what we can here. I'm getting a few patches of it, so that's a good thing. The skeletons are going to town, fuck, basically murdering each other's faces. Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh, damn it! Oh, God, I didn't notice that my damn... Oh! Fuck! I didn't notice that my runic shield wore off. Damn! Oh, motherfuck. God, shit. Oh, so bad. Oh, my God, sour. Damn it. Well... I guess that's the end of episode two. Fuck! No! <laughs> so mad. I can't even believe how mad. Ah, oh, damn. Well, now we know just how. Um, now we know just how serious it is trying to get cursed earth. Uh, the division sigil activated though, so I guess if I hadn't tried to get the cursed earth, and things wouldn't have been so bad. So there, there's that thing. Uh, I may not do another hardcore series for a little while, guys. I think what we're going to do is, uh, my friend and Sir Gradman Xavier is working on doing a really, really tough, difficult pack for us. We've actually done a couple playthroughs for it already. It's called, uh, he's calling it Ruination. It's a mod pack that he's developing on his own in his own time. 
And I think we might do a playthrough of that, but it won't be hardcore. It'll be, um, it'll be just, uh, it's just a really difficult mod pack and you die a lot because there's like special moms. I don't know what the special mod is called, uh, but it, it makes really, really tough, difficult monsters and they spawn everywhere. And I really like it. It's just really dangerous and it's really fun. I might make an actual play series of it. And we'll have like a fun little death counting tally thing going on, and we can we can compare how many to who dies more and how many times. It'll be me, and it'll be a lot. Xavier somehow I don't know, but he just never dies. He just fucking cruises through. He's like, "Yep, I'm just not dead ever." And I'm like, "Nah, fuck, I've died like ninety thousand times." So that was attempt number two of Ultra Hardcore Series. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Had no p time. Um, make sure to like, favorite, follow, subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter slash Rob the OP Gamer. Peace.